that bread now now. Bring that bread over. Bring it. Don't be my money to buy. Not be me buy. Give me that bread now. Or else. Or else wait. So what are you doing now? Don't give me bread. I beg, give me bread. Friend, go right there. And now you go beg. Look, I give you bread. And I give you bread. Don't say you shout. Tell me I give you bread. Make it quick. When you go when you matters, you can bring that. That's all you're going to be right. Give me that bread. Why you do that? Take this thing. Wait, what are you doing now? You know the strength why I take work, work can't go that place. What, what? Say, do you? Nah. Look, you're just very lucky. Yeah, you said just crazy. Crazy, man. <laughs> See, you're very, very lucky that Esther showed up. Eh? Or else I would have shown you a thing or two about tackling in professional American football for tackle you scatter. Mmm, <laughs> I hear you. Look, the one where I do, don't do. Yeah? My stomach can't take that. So just try me next time. A big head. Mm. Okay. Okay. Small head. <laughs> My head like a little bit big pass. Okay. Okay. Which you don't make me net for lectures now. Wait, wait. Where did they carry the cup to go? Wait, wait. What do you think that we drink? Leave me, my friend. Wait. Uh, Esther, no drink here. Drink Esther. <laughs> what do you mean by that? You're silly. You're longer through this days now. Wow. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> I mean, wait, wait, I mean, you two should actually be ashamed of yourself. I mean, what was that running around campus with that giggy bread about? My dear, what should we be ashamed of? Running around campus or their giggy bread? <laughs> Both! <laughs> Don't forget what I'm telling you. Guys are broke! <laughs> and besides, it was fun, you know, running around, yeah, right. and drugging, all that. Um, by the way, speaking of being broke, I am... Um, my sister came around today and I was able to squeeze out five grand from her. This is two grand. I mean, let's just keep managing. The holiday is almost over. It's our final semester. Oh, okay. Sweet of you. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. No time for that now. I'm late for Professor Dunigas lecture and you know what that means. Dunigas lecture. Oh, Esther, because you're late for lectures now, I wouldn't even get a kiss, eh? You started. Okay. Mm. That's your kiss. Oh. <laughs> Bye. Oh, I'll well, see you around. Man. Thank you so much. All right then. Of your room. Oh, that's Shola now. She came to collect by ESS 400 note. Uh, she missed lectures and she just wants to update. You know Shola now. That, 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 that. that girl. She can miss lectures. In fact, I don't know what she come to school can't do so. I'm telling you, is that why you're getting all worked up there? Uh uh. Uh uh. You'd better be telling the truth. That was all last week. Kate came to collect a note from you. Only for me to find out she's not from the same faculty with you. She doesn't even take the same course. I don't understand you again. No. Oh, I'm leaving. Esther, Esther, wait now. You can't be leaving, sweetie. Wait, wait, wait. <gasps> don't, don't you believe me anymore? 
Believe me now. Who on this whole campus does not know that you're my goo That's my coochie coochie <laughs> So to chill it out. It's not what you think at all, alright? It's not what you think at uh, all. Yes, now, uh, uh, who doesn't know the two of you on this campus? Who? It's less than an hour for you. So if they give you a chance, if you just carry this grudge, go now. <laughs> who they go with? <laughs> for you. Who they go with? Ah, first lady. <laughs> first lady. Oh no. No try am On top of this food. Let me talk not that busy. <laughs> boys don't they home, they wait for that food. Day day. Who be boys? Us now? Who be us? We! Oui. Who be we? Oui. <laughs> Come, when, when, when you know when you know this Esther self? Boy. You don't think when you guys did for back now, don't be first lady. Let's try again. Mm. First lady, you great provider. You don't think you're a great provider. So if they give you a chance, you go carry this spoon, take chop with us, I think, eh? Okay. What do you do this spoon now? My what? friend, stay your room. Oh. Stay your room. Oh. Nothing concerns you and us for this food matter. Stay for your room. I had to walk all the way from school. Walk. Wow. Walk. What did you do the tea fair when I read you this morning? Child. Dad. I jammed this girl. Clean girl. Kai. Man, she got problem with our motor now. You know, so I come off her to help her. By the time I don't help her finish, then the yellow kind of man where I did with doll, let's calculate plenty money on top of my head. Uh, I give her more the money where I hold now, but man, the girl water. Chai. Okay, your money don't go. Tifa don't work out. But I hope so you don't toast them. Toast? The girl now. You know, you hear what I tell you, so. I don't feel, I I feel fool myself with, with that kind of girl, though. I bet she'll get size. But you know, you hear what I tell you, the high class girl, this girl tight. Chai. I don't tell you, say you be slack man. Full slack man. Look at him now. Baby in distress. Night in China now. Perfect recipe for. Eh? For what? For. Be food slack. I, go, I, mean, I don't come there. over. It's like, oh, there. It is. A, it is. It is. It is. I just want to hear you tell. I see this girl a correct chick. It is na 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 Esther. Wait, 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 wait. This superman for. Just give me five minutes. Level different. Let me get up from here. Five one. Five one. Listen, I want to look at, look at, look at this. We, 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 You mean nothing. You've been frowning since we left the house. What's wrong with you? Okay. Do you really want to know the truth? Yes. Okay. I don't like what you're wearing. What I'm wearing? What's wrong with what I'm wearing? Look, it's too, it's too plain. It's dull. 
it's all befitting of, of where we're going. Look, the only reason I did not complain back there is because your mother seemed to like it. Maybe, probably because she's the one that bought it. Tony, why do you always do this? Why do you always do this? You just dampened my mood right now. What's wrong with what I'm wearing? Everyone loves this outfit. Everyone likes it. That does not mean that I should like it. For God's sake, very soon you're going to be my wife. Are you going to do things that people like or what I like? You, you think about that. Okay, what do I do now? Maybe you should just go back home and, and, and change. Change into something else. You know what? Just take me back, honestly. You want to go back home? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to go. What do you want me to do? Take me back. You want to go back? Yes. Let me just turn this out. I don't understand this your attitude. You complain about everything. Earlier today, you, you were complaining that the car broke down because I was not servicing it. And now it's my outfit that is not befitting. You know what? I don't even understand. I... Why will I not yell? Why will I not yell? I bought you that car with my money. Now you and you, you what else will make a car pack up if not lack of servicing? A car that you drive every day and yet you don't service it. Tony, before you bought that car for me, I already had a car of my own. So I know how important it is to service a car. So what's the meaning of all this? And what is the meaning of all this? Eh? No problem. I'll drop you in front of your mother's house. Are you changing or not? Well, I don't have anything better to wear. So you're not going to change? You know what, Tony? I'll see you later. Please. That chick, that, that's the chick. Which one? Uh, that chick now I was telling you about yesterday, the one I helped out with her car. Oh, I know that girl now. She's a law student. Um, I think she's a postgraduate student. <laughs> now this girl, you know, toast. What's in the world now? Hey, see, this girl is not tougher, finer, or better than any girl that I can. Oh, I'll be wrong time any time. I beg, man, yeah, boy, I beg, I beg. See, this girl will be your level, you know, be all those, my, my girls, oh, yeah, and then they do something. This one will be your class, just forget about her. Okay, so, go bet, 100, 100 now. I go there, talk to her, get her number, and they did. Get out, my friend. You see, this girl, I, I die if this girl should talk to you. Yeah, I bet, I bet. Yeah, I bet, I bet. Okay. Guess what? Okay. only got a uh, number not date and how am I sure this is the right number okay okay 50 card see I've told you just forget about that girl 
just forget about her. See, that girl, eh, she's older than you, she's classier than you, she, she get level past you, so just forget about her. It's all in the spirit of the fun, you know. I just get her, play with her a little bit. You know that I do now. I know you. I know you. When you reach my mother, you see to the end of it. Just forget about this one. Forget about this one. Yeah. Okay. Let me go and see drama students. Okay. Okay. Hey, hi. Hi. Don't you rem remember me? No, should I? Uh, you gave me your number some time ago. You parked your car somewhere and, you know, I came to you and... Steve, that's my name, Steve. Okay, yeah, that was you. Yeah. Do you always read here? Yeah, I read here. The cool air, the ambient sound. Yeah. Do you mind if I sit down? I called your number over and over and over again, but uh, unfortunately, you always said you were not available, like it was permanently switched off. Why? Okay, that. Um, actually, I lost my mobile phone. Oh. I just got another one. Oh, really? Yeah. I hope you don't mind if I have the new one. Yeah, sure. Okay. Zero eight zero three three two one five six one zero eight. Okay. Uh, uh, I hope you're doing fine though. Yeah, I'm fine. That's great. Fine. That's great. Mm -hmm. um, I was just thinking that, you know, uh, we could go to the cafeteria, eat something. I didn't say I was hungry, did I? Oh, no, 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 no. I'm not insinuating that you are. I'm just saying that since we're both here and, you know, we could just like you know, go eat and talk a little, you know, if you don't mind, that is. Okay, actually, I was winding up to get something to eat. So we can go to the cafeteria? No, not the cafeteria. Let's go where I eat. Where's that? Let's go to a Chinese restaurant. I feel like eating Chinese food. Chinese food? Yeah, you don't like Chinese food? Oh, oh no, I, I love Chinese food. In fact, I, I eat it all the time. It's great. Oh, fine then, fine then. Let's go, let's go to my guys back out there. Okay. All right, then. Come on. Oh. You are the one I needed as a friend. You are the one I needed as a friend. Yes. No one else Number 9 and number 21 uh, Get me a glass of juice uh, just, just Get me a bottle of uh, anything soft I'll be okay with that oh, Come on, take something Come on, take it, it's on me Yeah uh, uh, You know what, uh, just give me the same thing she ordered. Thank you. This is a really nice place. Yeah, it is. That's why I always come into it. Mm. Uh, are you a final year student? Oh, no. Actually, I already have the first degree in English from Unijas. Really? But I always had my eye on law. So I just came back to Unilag to have a second degree in law. So I'm doing my second degree right now. Really? About you, what are you doing? Um, I'm, I'm writing my final year exams now. I'm in philosophy. No one has but you. No one has but you. No one has but you. Each time I fall, you pick me up. Each time I cry, you put me like a child. No one else but you. You are the one I needed as a friend. You are the one I needed as a friend. No one else but you. No one else but you. No one else but you.
How are you? Fine, how are you? Okay, I'm sorry I kept you waiting. See, this lecture I just kept going on and on and on. Like, I thought it would never stop, so I could not get out. Well, I'm enjoying the fresh air here all the same. You know, I could not stop thinking about you. I hope I've not put you into some major trouble. Trouble? Oh, that. No, there's no trouble at all. Really? No, oh, there's no problem. <sighs> I can't believe that, you know, because when that guy came out, there was murder in his eyes. I mean, I thought to myself, oh my God, this guy is just going to give you hell. But that is to be expected of a guy that's dating a woman like you anyway. You know, you're pretty, you're elegant, intelligent, and above all, you're very reserved. I mean, that is just prime wife material. Go on. <laughs> Go on, flatter me. No, 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 I'm serious. I am. Se no, I'm serious. Just flatter me you can. No. Why do you think I keep telling you like a bee tells honey? Truth is, I think about you all the time and I can't get you out of my head. Hmm. I, I know you might not believe this, <laughs> but it's true. Listen, I know you have a girlfriend, if not girlfriends in this school so that should be enough for you to think of and not me how are you so sure i don't know i just know i mean you're not so bad looking and you seem to have the right word for every girl oh so what are you now insinuating nothing i'm just <laughs> yeah. and i know that you know that I'm crazy about you. See, when I wake up in the morning, the first thing I see in my head is a picture of you. And that picture lingers with me throughout my day. And the basic thing, the only thing that I dream about these days is just you, 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 you all the time. I mean, you're totally driving me crazy. Please, please do me the honor of coming into my life as what as my woman and my love please Anne. please promise me you'll think about this just think about it okay. please okay I will Steve. I left him in school. He told me he let lecture was fixed for this evening in his department. <laughs> I'm 
just come in from his department and there's nobody there. In fact, the whole place is locked up. Let me, let me get going. I'll wait for him now. No, no, I can't. I have to try and sleep a bit before I go back to class to read this evening. It's alright, I'll tell him you came when he returns. Martin, what exactly is the problem with Steve? I mean, is it because of exams? I, I don't see him. I haven't seen him in like three weeks. It's Esther, it's not easy. It's not easy. This is final year. It's not easy. I know from class to the library, library back to class and then reading room. It's not easy. Even to feed is a problem. Man must graduate now. Listen, Martin, I'm also in final year. Will I make out time to see Steve? Just tell him to check up on me when he returns. I'll be in my room till 8. Pricey. Hello. I don't talk to you Come chat more now. Oh, thank you. Ah, uh, come on. Eh? Let me see. She did, I'm I'm Let me see you all. Because of uh, At least thank God for another year. Mm. will let you see me all. Mm. <laughs> I know. Read your book, read, read. Read. You don't need form now. So, I'm going to see you tomorrow. I'm talking to you. Who was that? So, who did it look like? I, I didn't intend for you to find out this way, but uh, since you have courtesy of this fool, you may do whatever you wish. Excuse me, who are you calling you? Fool? You, you are a fool! So, because you saw me in Annette's car, then you went to call her to, to, to come and see us. So, what will happen? So, what, so what can happen, man? I have, no, I have no idea of what you're talking about. Would you stop avoiding my question? Who was that? That was Annette. Annette, my girlfriend. How dare you talk to me like that? You ungrateful idiot! What? Are you calling me names? Steve, what was wrong? Get your hands off me, man! Get your freaking hands off me! Do you want her? Do you want her? Take her then, fine. I have lived with your broke ass for four years. I have fed you, I have clothed you, I have virtually pay your school fees and hey, you, 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 how do you pay me back? By setting me up with my own girlfriend. Stand. I won't have you insult me even if you feed me. Please, I mean, what, please. What are you going to do? What are you Martin, going to do? Martin, let's, let's do Steve, it. Steve, it's not because I squat with you that gives you the right to insult me. Steve, I'll, and talk to me anyhow. I'll, I'll. I have the right to talk to you anyhow I wish. I'm not to blame for your wretchedness. For the wretchedness of yourself, your parents, 
your grandparents and your generation. And not to blame for it. You call me wretched. Yes, wretched. You. What are you going to do? But I won't condescend so low to mean words with the bastard. What? Remember some time ago you asked me if I, if I had a relationship and I said nothing serious. Yeah? Why? You lied to me? Well, I, I wouldn't exactly put it that way. It's just that I didn't know what we had. I was not confident of what was between the two of us. So, I could not speak much of my relationship. So what are you saying? We can't go on because she... No, okay. no, 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 Annette, please, please, Annette. Just give me a minute and let me explain. Okay. Yes, I had a girlfriend. Her name is Esther, but we broke up now. The breakup even cost me my relationship with my best friend. The other day you came to drop me off at home and I kissed you. She saw us kissing and we got into this fight and all that and all that. So I crossed it. Hmm? Well, how does that affect your relationship with your friend? He was the one who brought her to see us kissing. I didn't like that at all and I told him to his face. He in turn got angry and called me a bastard and I'm not going to take that from anyone. So I asked him to leave my apartment. In fact, I, I threw him out of my apartment. Oh, come on. That's a shame. You shouldn't have done that. I know, I know. And honestly, I feel bad about it now. In fact, I'm just... I'm going to have to look for him and apologize to him. Yeah, I think you should. I think you should. <laughs> it's really crazy. He's just been gone for a short while and I miss him so much. Promise me that this will be forever. That's if you promise me you will be 
Yes. Oh, yes. I promise I will always be faithful. Be the most faithful man he ever met. Uh, everything was about. What to you? Okay, we had a slight disagreement, but I mean, it's been dragging for too long now. All right. I'm sorry I asked you to leave the apartment, but you hurt me too. I mean, you called me a bastard. That is wrong. Okay, you know what? Let's just forget everything, man. You can come back to the apartment now so that we can rock. Martins. Now, guy, talk to me now. Brother, guy, the bills don't done. Oh, may you can't arrange yourself. I want learn. Martin, now, now, it's now. Now, now, it's What's that? What are you now? Now, it's just hold yourself. Uh, uh, hold yourself. Martin, hold yourself. But this is a simple shift. I said, man, shift to the crest. The bad. Okay. Shift. Okay. The crest. Sorry, sorry. Put yourself. have a message. Okay. Yeah. Read your message. Read your message. I don't want to read now. No, no. I want you to read it now. I insist you read it now. Anthony, I'll read the text later. What are you scared of? What are you hiding? I'm not hiding anything. I just want to read it later. Oh. Give me the phone. Anthony. Hey, Give hey!
know of all this now? You, you know the sea? Oh, what is wrong with you? I mean, how could you be driving like that? What, what, what's wrong with this man? What is wrong with you? My name is Engineer Anthony Adams. Uh -huh. I am the man that you have been getting on his nerves. What are you talking about? I don't even know you. What, what, what is the meaning of all this? Listen. Listen. I just want to advise you to keep away from Aniat. She's my wife to be. Who is this man? I beg. Boom, 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 boom. See. Look. Mr. Engineer Big Shot or whatever you call yourself. I don't know you and I don't have any business with you. So you can go straight to hey, hell. Hey. You know if you have business with me, if I see you anywhere around Annette again. I don't want to see you anywhere now around her. I don't want to see you anywhere around my car, which I bought with my own money. You see, I did not buy that car for her so that she could carry riffraffs like you in it. Okay, I, I don't know if you understand me. Okay? We know we both know that you're just a bloody gold digger, okay? I, I understand also that you, you can't feed yourself or clothe yourself or house yourself. I, I understand that. It's difficult, okay? But if you need to pay your way through school, why don't you study hard and get a scholarship or something? We won't have this discussion again. If we do, you won't like me. I hate you already, man. What's the matter with you? Me? Oh, nothing. I'm fine. I'm fine too. So will you tell me what's wrong with you or not? It's really nothing major. It's just that someone totally messed up my day. Who? Anthony. Yes. What did he do? Can you believe it? That guy ran me off the road, stopped me and threatened to deal with me, but don't stop seeing you, or don't stop getting in the car he bought you. That is so humiliating. How could how does someone just wake up one day and just I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm still, I'm sorry. No one, absolutely no one, does a thing to me like that and goes cut free. If, I, if not, I would have taken him out. But you don't need all that, Steve. If you said I'm sorry, I'll talk to you. Okay? I'll talk to you. You 
says that um, he and his wife together. Unless you are going to get married soon. What do we have? I mean, what 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 is going on between the two of us? I don't know what to think. I don't I, what I is, don't know. What's what. up is that I love you? And you're going to get married to someone else. Do you love me? Do you love me? You know that I love you. From the bottom of my heart, I do. Look, I know I don't have money to throw around like some people. But from here, I'm sure, confident that I can make you very very happy. I'll sort out the situation, okay? Well, where is Madame? It's all right. Nice, Tony Badmas. Anthony. You and Anne fighting again? This is your cat and mouse game? Ma'am, can you imagine that Annette has been cheating on me? Anne has the guts to cheat on me after all I have done for her. After the way I have personally changed her life. My Annette cheat on you? Are you sure? Yes, I am sure. Do you know that she's dating one Riff raff on campus. I, Tony Badmus, to share my woman with a low life nobody. If not for the respect I have for you, I would have called this relationship quits a long time ago. Do you know how many women out there are begging to 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 have what she is having with me? Begging me. Anthony, calm down and tell me what happened. I I cannot tell you what happened. You, you just ask her. You go and ask her before I, I change my mind and take a decision that nobody would like. Because I, I, I will not stack on my hands. I just came here to tell you so that you will tell her to tell you enough! What is this? Who do you think you're talking to? You come into my house. You make these accusations against my daughter. And you're not going to tell me what it's all about? Well, listen. If you're not going to simmer down and do exactly that, get out! Who the hell do you think you are? What do you think you are? We are to worship you? You insult me. Get out! Nonsense. Who do you think you are? talking to you. I warned you, Annette. I warned you about that boy, but you would not listen to me. And that was why you went to say all that to my mother? I don't know what you're talking about. You don't know what I'm talking about. Apparently, you don't know what to say. I did not say anything to your mother. You did not say anything. Listen to yourself. Just look at you. You're not even man enough to say it to my face. Yes. And what is the meaning of you going to threaten Steve? Me? Threaten Steve? And for God's sakes, listen to yourself! Listen to yourself talk! Me threaten that, that little boy? Do you know how low you have made yourself by associating how with... How low? I see. So it's all about class, right? Annette, why do you want to embarrass me like this? 
What have I done to you to deserve this? I, I, I treat you better than any man treats his woman. I treat you like a man would, would, would treat his wife to be. I even buy you things. Yes, things. Talking about things like the car you bought me that anyone you do not approve of cannot ride in with me. Right? You know what, Anthony? I am sick, I am tired of your bullying and your bragging. At every given opportunity, you're rubbing it in that you're doing things for me. You're buying things for me. At every slight quarrel we have, you're telling me that this relationship is getting to an end. So if you're quick to end the relationship, why do you care about who I am with? Why do you care about what I see? Why do you care? Tell me. Annette. Annette, for the last time. I do not want to see you with that boy again. Do not make me take a drastic decision of ending this relationship. Listen, my wife to be can You be... don't even need to wait that long, okay? You don't need to wait that long. Here, I guess this is the string with which you tied me. So, you can take your car and your ego tripping and go to hell. Anna, come back here! Annette! Annette, do not walk out of this house. I dare you to walk out of this house. I, I, I dare you to step. So you are, you, are, you are going. Do you know how many people are begging to, to, to own this car? Annette! Why didn't he say so? He has to get off the bus or taxi to make a call. He has to get off a taxi or a bus to make a call. That means he doesn't have a car and he doesn't have a phone. What kind of a man are you bringing to meet me anyway? Oh, please don't be that way. Please. Take that side. Steve Abbasu. Steve, that's my mom. Good day, ma. Good day, young man, and how are you? Fine, ma. Fine, thank you. I will see you later. you're in love with that boy and you want to marry him. What kind of madness is that? Well, well Steve is a full-grown man. He's, he, he is a full-grown man. But tell me this. With what money is he going to marry you and build a home with you? His youth service allowance? 
Wake up, girl. Why don't you be realistic? You're not exactly getting any younger. I expect you to marry a man who is responsible. Not a boy who has not found his feet in life yet. So, who am I supposed to involve myself with? Who? Who am I supposed to involve myself with? Definitely not, not Anthony because he's, he's full of himself. He has no regards whatsoever for me. I cannot imagine. I, I, I can't imagine. Anthony is not the only man in this world who's ready to settle down. Now, granted, he's some of the things you've mentioned. But I expect you to be involved with a man. It's not going to make you look stupid, my child. Well, right now, Steve is the only man in my life, and he's the only person I know. I've said my piece on this matter. Now, should you want to go ahead and do what you want, be my guest. But do not expect my support, and certainly do not expect hope from me from now on. sorting that thing out. No, ma'am. Okay. Why don't you just leave it? Huh? Go tell my driver to be on standby. I want to go home. Okay. I'm feeling too good. Okay, ma'am. best for you. I'm sorry I yelled at you. I just want the best for you. I want you to marry a serious minded man. But mom, Steve is serious minded. Trust me. He's serious minded. And you love him? Mom, is it wrong? Is it? No. It's not wrong to be in love. But it is wrong to be in love with the wrong person. Steve is right for me. Mom, I know it. I know he's right for me. Look, sweetheart. I just don't want you to make a huge mistake. I married your dad against the wishes of my parents. And it turned out to be everything I never expected. He has, he's married to another woman and he has abandoned us. I just don't want the same for you. I understand your concern towards my relationship with Steve and I'm very grateful for it. Mom, please. I love Steve and he loves me. I know he loves me. He's cool. That to me is the most important thing in any relationship between anyone and I. Try and understand. You really, really, really love him? All right. Ask him to see me. I will have a talk with him. You will talk to him? Yes. Thanks. You want something to eat? I mean, you know.
when I invited you here for no other reason than your relationship with my daughter. I want to know what your intentions are. Now, I'm keeping an open mind. I have tried to talk to Annette about this relationship, but she insists on carrying on with it. That is to be expected from a young woman who is in love. But now I want to hear directly from you. What exactly are your intentions? First, Ma, I'd like to thank you for giving me this opportunity to express myself. You're welcome. Thank you, Ma. Uh, I have known Annette for over a year now, and I am sure of my feelings for her. I know that I love her, Ma. You love her? Yes, Ma, I do. You're aware that she was in a relationship. In fact, she was engaged before she met you, and that she broke off that engagement because of you. I am privy to the details of the breakup, Ma, and I promised Annette that I will never let her down. Annette is my only child. I do not joke with her, and woe betide any man who messes her up. Do you know the time, energy, and money that has gone into making Annette what she is today? Actually, Ma, she never lets me hear the last of it because she talks ceaselessly about you all the time. Ma, I do solemnly promise that I will not let either of you down. Never. She tells me that um, you've lost both parents. Actually, uh, my mom died when I was six years old. As for my father, I, I have never met him before, so I uh, So how did you get on? After my mom died, um, my grandmother took charge of all my responsibilities, and she did this until two years ago when she too passed on. But because of my fierce examination to get myself in education, I just... Uh, I managed to scrape on somehow and I managed to finish school. That's very interesting. Well, I guess you, um, you can visit us whenever you want. <laughs> Thank you very much, Ma. <laughs> Thank you very much, Ma. <laughs> Thank you very much. I really appreciate this, Ma. Thank you. And go on and say hello to her. Go oh, on, she's in the other room. Thank you, Anna. surprised that we <coughs> sorry ma'am <coughs> that we sorry. have not heard from you <coughs> can I get you a glass of water ma'am no go to the car tell the driver <coughs> give you mine
Sorry, I couldn't make it to the burial itself. Sorry, okay. thanks uh, for coming. Yeah, my condolences. Um, mommy was a great person that we all loved her, but God knows best. Okay. Yeah. Uh, hey, um, I've got to go back to the office. I just came here to see you. Yeah, you know, missed you and all that. Um, I just got back from Germany uh, to bring in some cars and containers. So, I decided to pop in and say hi to you. Hey, besides, I heard you got married whilst I was away. <laughs> I hope you stay happy and married. Hmm? Alright, you take care of yourself. And if you need anything, anything, let me know. Okay? Take care of yourself. To address the board today and tomorrow, then I have to go to Abuja for the final kill. That's nice. You know, I trust you, my darling. Since my mother died, I don't think anyone can tell the difference in the change of the management of the company. I don't know what I would have done with that company without you. Huh? It's like God sent you to rescue me. God finds a solution to all of our problems. And honestly, since the very first day I met you, God has made a solution to all my problems. And dear, even though the aroma of this coffee is driving me wild right now, I really have to run. You did this yesterday. Oh, I'm, so, I'm so late, I have to oh, go. Just with the slice. <laughs> all right then. Okay, I love you. Oh, let me see you. Love you. Yeah, 
Yes, I, I'll go to Cross Street. Then later, around 4 p.m., I'll join them at the island office. Okay. All right, I'll see you in court. Inside this bedroom. Who there inside this bedroom? Who be that? Ah, Mr. Martins. I know seen are you. Now so you go there inside the bedroom, spend four hours. You go enter toilet, spend three years. Bros, come out inside this bedroom. Bros, come out inside the bedroom. I want bath. I get place to go. My friend, shut up. Money or butter? Kill my chair. Boy, you go. A boy, a butter. No bedroom. Why the monkey inside this bedroom now? That's why you go enter the bedroom, they monkey it out. In short, bros, come out. Bros! Bro, I know I'm coming. Let's see, now it's now. Now it's now. Bros. In short, your word tire me. You go enter the bedroom, you go spend two hours. You go spend four hours. Wait till happen, I'll leave you. You will go enter the toilet at the same thing. Ah! Now, wow. Well, me and you are at the same level with it. That's it. That's it. Look at that. Just because say, you see me for here, I go to school, you know, me and you know be the same. That's it. They warn you, me and you know be the same. That's it. Level. You pass where you did so. Look this compound where where. No be me and you did this compound. Hey, 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 if you the fine level, go another place now. You know, I beg you come on for us. Oh shit, come on. That's it. That's it. I go school. That's it. I go school. Me and you know be the same. That's it. That's it. You can climb bridge. What you can do? Now it's still here. You still there. You come to tell say you go school. You go school. You the father for here. Hey, go, go see you. Come on, follow for me, make a pass. Come, last is, last is. What did they worry you? Labu Kumi. What did they worry you? Last is, what did they worry you? Eh? All of them, they don't worry, you know. Che, when they go, only they take the this cross cross. Money, buy him blow, you. I'm going to lele. Go on, turn off for me. Oh, turn off him or not? I don't share him. Money, buy him this cross cross. I'm afraid we will do it. Go see, go on, no. Oh my Deus. Go see, la. Anyway, you just sit out. Anyway, you're just How are you doing? Hey, how are you doing? What do you want? Nothing. I just came to check up on you and found out that you're doing great. Well, I suggest you go see people who would love to see you. Excuse me. Martin, Martin. Come on, Peter, right? Look, we're friends. We've always been friends and we'll always be friends. That's, it's just that simple. Friends. So you think you can do whatever you want to do and then come back and pretend as if everything is okay? Huh? Martin. Martin. Just leave. Relax. Hold on for a second. This thing has been going on for too long. I mean, I know I 
not hurt you, but you hurt me too. Look, you called me a bastard, knowing fully well that I don't know who my father is. Just take, just take a walk in my shoes and feel the pain, you might. Uh, as adults, I suggest we put this whole thing in the past and just move on. Say something. I suggest we discuss about drinks then. At least we can talk about drinks. Eat something, drink something, talk. Old friends. Oh my dear. Frost, the guy never learned since four days now. See The demo, the monkey. Follow oh, no, him. Um, uh, uh, Bros. I keep on. Bros. I saw him today. You did? Yeah. Oh, where? At his place, I paid him a visit. Oh, that's nice. So, what? Man, the guy is going through a really rough patch at the moment. Do you know he still lives at his old mother's apartment somewhere in Mushi? Are you serious? That's bad. How come? How come? The country is hard. No job, no source of income. You know, that kind of situation. Why can't you just go and get a job? Let him get a job. Honestly, I don't know. I don't know. It's too bad. You know what? I've been thinking... I have been thinking... We could offer him employment, you know. Employment? As what? As an engineer in one of our sites under construction. You know he read civil engineering. Okay, that's right. That's why he was able to help me with my car the other day. Exactly. Cool. exactly. Okay, that's right. And better still, we could even make him a permanent staff. You know, because Martins is a brilliant fellow. He'd be an asset to us. Trust mm. me. Yeah. It won't be a bad idea. If you think it's all right, go on. Thanks. Mm -hmm. You know what you're gonna do for me now? What? <laughs> oh, yeah, okay. I'll move. All right. I'll turn off the light when I'm through. Okay. Just have to finish this. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay, okay. Show him the way in. Yeah. Thank you. Good to see you again. How are you doing? I hope you're all right. Oh, Martin. Well, this is the Lord's doing. Please sit down. Sit down. Steve. It's the Lord's doing. It is the Lord's doing. Sit, sit, sit. Hey, nice to see you again. You know, how's it been? Ah, oh, man, it's so great to see you again. I hope everything is going on right with you. Steve. <laughs> That's great. You know what, yeah? I have something for you.
I understand you. You don't need to say a word. In fact, you're welcome. See, in addition to this, uh, my wife and I have decided to give you a car, a flat, a car and a small starting allowance so that at least you can furnish your apartment and you can come to work on Monday in style. It's okay. You know what, just give me a couple of seconds to clean up so that we can go to lunch. Right. Right. Stifu. Okay. You know what? I understand. Whatever it is you wish to say to me, you can say to me. Alright. Just get used to living the life. Let's go. It's alright, man. It's okay. Look, after all these years of suffering this morning. The best thing we can do right now is have a great time. So, how may I help you, sirs? Well, I am Akintola Williams. This is my son, Adebayo. We have come to see you on a very important issue. Really? Well, let's hear it then, sir. Over to you, Adebayo. Um, just like my father has said, we have something very important to discuss with you. And it has to do with um, the family landed property we intend to sell. No. Go on. It's actually a shopping plaza that belongs to my father here. And we intend to sell it to whoever is interested and who will take very good care of it. So, in our quest to find a very good buyer, we stumbled on your company's profile. We thought you might want to have an office premise of your own. We decided to come and see you. Maybe you'll be interested in what we have. Well, sir, um, you're not wrong in assuming that our company desires um, a small complex for an office site. But if you don't mind my asking, why exactly do you wish to sell this property? My son here is the eldest of my 27 children. 27? And that property is the only one I have outside my private home. I have decided to sell the place, use the money to settle my 15 sons so that they can establish their own private business while I'm alive. You know what it is with polygamy? I don't want them to start fighting over the property in case of my death. All right, all right. Uh, now I wholly understand you, sir. But. You have to give me some time to consult with other partners in my company because I need to talk to them before I make any major decisions. But I think it would be a brilliant idea for you to hold us to my card. This is my card. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, oh, do we call back? It's all right. Any pal is okay with me. Um, get in touch with me, I get in touch with you. So don't let's remain in contact. All right, sir. Thank you very much for your interest. It's really nice meeting you. Have a great day. You too. Very much. They look genuine to me, but you know this is Lagos. One has to be extra careful. Yes, like you said, um, one has to be very, very careful. But notwithstanding, I mean, one has to take risks sometimes. You see, I did not see this man, but if they do say they own this property, then definitely we have to see proof. You're right, you're that's right. But, look, Martin. I need your professional appraisal on this one because this is really immense. Do you think I should go ahead with the arrangement? Well, I think it's a good idea. I really do think so. I mean, besides, this company is big enough to own its own complex. Oh, yeah. Also, you can make some more money off it by renting other office spaces to the general public. That's brilliant. We can maximize the potential of this property and get to make some cool cheese on the way. That's great. You know what? I'm going to discuss this with um, Annette in the evening today and see what she has to say about this. Steve, what she... this is a major acquisition. Why don't you just go ahead with this deal and, you know, surprise her later? You know women are surprises, don't yeah, yeah, you? Yeah, surprise. You know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to go ahead with this acquisition and then on our next wedding anniversary, 
out of the blues, I'm going to hit her in the chest with this, like, boom! I'm sure she's going to be tickled to her toes. Of course. And I, <laughs> Man, I really appreciate it. Appreciate it. Anytime. 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 So I'll be off right now. I have to get some sights. Okay. Are you going to come to the um, club later in the evening? Maybe. No, maybe it's this time. You are coming. Maybe. You are coming. <laughs> have a great day, man. you're treating for the senator coming along. Fine, only that. The prosecutor feigned sickness, so the judge had to adjourn the case. <laughs> Isn't that what you lawyers do when you don't have enough materials? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you're right. And the site, how has work been? Oh, splendid. And Martin's has been exceptional. Both on the site and in the office, like his, his work is impeccable. I told you that boy is brilliant. Yeah, that's nice to know. I've always known he's a hardworking guy. No. I've got a little surprise for you. Surprise? What is it? I told you. It will no longer be a surprise. Tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me. <laughs> oh. present state of this property. Oh, there is nothing wrong with it. In fact, we renovated it only five years ago. And if you are in doubt, we can go straight to location and you see things for yourself. This is not a question of doubt, sir. It's just that as businessmen, we need to corroborate um... Excuse me? Do you realize how much you're paying for this property? No, no. We, we insist on seeing the said property now. No. I don't like people who doubt me or my integrity. Me? I'm a man of integrity. I'm not hungry. I am not saying you are hungry. Who wants to do this? All right, all right, gentlemen. Since you insist on seeing this property, Dad, let's take them back. Good. Gentlemen, let's go.
Isn't this great? That Adams Construction Company has acquired a multi-million, exquisite, magnificent and, you know, nice building like that. Yeah. Of course it is and I'll say cheers to that. Honestly. Honestly. I just can't wait to see the look on Anne's face when she sees this building. She's going to be over the moon. Really? Yes, um, it would be nice. It would really be nice. It is. Boy, is she looking good and sexy. You know what? Just give me one minute. I'll be right. Hi. You know what? Right across the table there, I saw you gliding like an angel and I said I was going to come and say hi. Then say it! Hey Martin! Oh my god! Such a long time! Oh, you have been? <laughs> I'm fine. <laughs> you know what, um, oh Esther? Why don't you just join us at our table? I really love. What's you. that? Oh, Please. Come on, Esther. Come on, it's been how many years now? Come on, join us. Let's make up, okay? I just thought I should call since you didn't think you should. Oh, I'm sorry. It's just that I've been very busy lately, you know. Should I hang up then? No, 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 not at all. See, I was just thinking about you now. And I said to myself, maybe to call you and see if we can see, you know, talk. Talk? About what? Well, anything at all. Like old times? Yeah, yeah like old times. That's, if you don't mind. Oh, I don't mind. I mean, you're the big boy. You're the one calling all the shots, remember? Yeah, I remember. I'm the big guy. The one that calls all the shots. <laughs> so, um, can you talk now or are you too busy? Like, right now? Yeah. Like, talk in my house, if you know what I mean. Alright. That's okay. So? Um, 
How about you text your address to me, you know, so that I can see you soon? How soon? Like soon after work today. Okay, I'll do just that. That's great. All right, then take care of yourself, all right? See you soon. All right, bye. You are the one I needed as a friend. You are the one I needed as a friend. No one else but you. To you. No one is but you. Very beautiful, just like you. <laughs> Thank you. Um, oh, um, sit down. Let, let me get you something. At least something it's to drink. Right. It's okay. Use. It's all right. I had a late lunch, so I don't think I'm going to eat anything. Thank you all the same. You had lunch when you knew you were coming to see me. I'm sorry. You know, some clients came over. We had to go somewhere, but. Closer kind of relationship. No, 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 not at all. I have you and you have me. And together we. And you love someone else. Esther, please.
all all ADP. You went to the pool, me. I'm so sorry on the neighbors. You turned up oh, your yeah. phone. Yes, I had this really important meeting and I had to turn my phone off. And uh, in my hurry to get back home, my sweet lovely lady. I completely forgot, forgot to. had a date with your sorrows. We had a dinner date with them. Oh, oh my God. Look, I completely lost track of time. Do you think we could still probably make it? At 10 p.m.? See, it was for 8. Anyway, I already called them to apologize and cancel. Oh. <laughs> Thank, <laughs> you. Thank you so much. I have to personally call Richard and apologize to him. I am completely famished. What do you have for me to eat? And what do you have for me after keeping me waiting? Well, so, somewhere I heard someone say ladies first. <laughs> so you have to wait. Okay, all right. Oh. Man, today was really hectic. Honestly, I had this meeting and I had to see some people and there was a... You are the one I needed as a friend. Hey Martins, what's up? Steve! How are you doing? Did you put any sign uh, on the gate of the complex? No. Why? There's this sign uh, on the gate that says military don't keep off. What does that mean? I'm confused myself. I'm confused. I'm here with the foreman. I don't know what's going on. Please, I think you need to come over immediately. Uh, yes. Oh, okay then. I'll, I'll be there in a minute. He said, are you drunk? Mr. Ma, if you know what is good for you, better leave now or we lock you up. Uh, um, please excuse me. Please excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. My company owns this building. Yes. I'm the engineer and this is the engineer. I am the engineer. He bought this building from Mr. Williams a month ago. We only came to see what you guys need to be done. I can see I the ghost of you are running mad. Can't you see the sample? 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 That this has belonged to General Baku and Co. And he has been out of the country for the past eight years. If you, both of you don't get out of this place, you will regret it and I mean it, you will regret it. Sunil! Sir! Get, get me the van. Yes, sir. I think this bloody civilian will pull up to the barracks. Just wait here. Don't wait here. No, no, this is this wrong. This wait here. What, for wait, what? let me get my over there. You will not do Just anything here. I will see both of you. Wait, no, no. Why, why, why will people take people's rights like that? What was that? No, this is wrong. I mean, I because they, I mean, because, because they're really too mad. What? What? No, this place is Steve, empty. Steve, it's okay. Fifty? Steve, I, I know. Steve, I, this I know. This place is empty. Yes. No. no. I mean, Steve, we are causing a scene, you I mean, know. Stop. Steve. Fifty million Steve, naira. Steve, let's get this, this is impossible. Steve, Look, these guys are real? Yeah, I, I, I told them you saw yes, them. I know we them. know them. I saw them. Wait, yes. wait, I mean, yes, yes. this is how the Steve. Of course, of course. Oh, oh, of course. Oh, God, Steve. I know, I know, I saw them myself. Let's go, okay? Let's, let's go. 
Let's go. Ah, okay. It's finished. Okay. I know. Oh, I know. I know. I know. I know. I know. I know. Let's just get to the office. Okay? Let's get to the office. Let's get to the office. Let's, let's, let's get to the office. Steve. How can this? Steve. To, to let. Let's go. Let's, 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 let's just get. Let's go. Let's go. It's okay. Let's, let's get to the office. Let's go. 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 I think this is the traffic I encountered on the way home. It was so terrible. So all the weaving and partying got me fagged out. So Sorry. that left me fatigued. <laughs> and, sweetie, can I have a glass of water? I want a glass of water. Give yourself a heart attack just because you lost some money. So yes, I mean it wasn't your fault, was it? Yes, yes, yes. I know. Yeah, fifty million naira is a lot of money. I mean, but I know what. Anne, hi, how are you? What fifty million naira are you talking about? It was cheap. I I I I I I have to be, you know, going now. Um, I I actually came to inform you about the meeting we have for 8 a.m. with Baco Construction. Huh? Oh, oh, okay. Um, and you you have a nice day. Oh, oh. Yes. Thank you, thank you. What is it talking about? What are you supposed to tell me? I need you to, to, to relax, you know? I'm relaxed, then. I'm relaxed. Well, what's going on? I lost some money to fraudsters. What? It, it, look, I met this man who said that uh, they had a shopping complex to sell and... You know, I, I thought it would be a brilliant idea if we yeah. had our own office space, you know, permanently and we had a complex to go with it as well because that way we'd have additional space to, 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 to let out, you know, to get more revenue for the company. I see. And you never told me about it. I, I wanted to surprise you with it. You wanted to surprise me? Steve! <laughs> How much is involved? No, I said, that's me. How much is involved? It's 50 million naira. What? Honey, I, I did not, I never... You never knew what? You never knew what? <laughs> Tell me, how much is left in the company account? You did a business with my money and you didn't even tell me about it. Right? We live in this house together, we wake up together every day, we sleep together, we wake up every day, and you hid such a thing from me. And maybe you have an agenda I do not know Annette, about. How, how could you conjecture a thing like this? Uh, no, tell me what other explanation is there to it? What other explanation is there? Look, dear, 
Honestly, I, I understand that you're stressed up at this moment. And if you just relax a little bit and uh, just... Leave me alone! Just leave me alone! Leave me alone! What? Jesus Christ! I met these guys who said that they had a shopping complex to sell. So I bought it from them. Only, only, only to realize that it was not even theirs in the first place. And now they have absconded with all of my. I mean. F F S Steve, I'm so sorry. I'm, what are you going to do? I don't know. I don't know. I. I don't have any idea. I, I think I, I, I. Have you told your wife about it? Yes, I have. And she's so mad at me. I mean, she's she's just going off and on and on, on, on about. I can imagine. Just take it easy, dear. Take it easy, okay? I don't. I don't know what to do at all. I'm just. Take it easy. Just take it easy. Anyway, here's some good news to cheer you up and put a smile on your face. What is it? What is it? What did you just say? I said I'm pregnant. For who? What, what do you mean by for who? What do you mean by for who? Of course it's for you. Pregnant. How? How can you be pregnant now? I mean, I mean, there are one, if five million good reasons you cannot be pregnant now. Fifty million now, down the drain. Whoosh, gone. And no, you can stand here and t tell me that you're pregnant. <laughs>
are the one I needed as a friend. No one else but you. No one else but you. Hello, Esther. Yes, Dick. You know, you really shocked me today. Look, I'm sorry, okay? I'm really sorry. It's, it's just that, you know, I'm a married man. You cannot be pregnant for me. You're married? But now you know you're married. So what happens to me? I should go to hell, yeah? No, no. It, I mean, it's not like that. You, you, I'm not trying to insinuate anything. I'm just, you know... So what are you saying then? Look, Esther. Right now, I have a million problems weighing me down. Have you, I mean, you know everything, don't you? You can't ask this silly question. I, I mean, a pregnancy right now, you, you can't be pregnant for me. Steve, are you saying I should abort? Yes. Really? Look, if, if, if you're willing to get rid of this small problem, I, you know, we can, you know, I can give you something, you know, for your problems. Wait, 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 wait. You, you want to pay me off, right? I see. Uh, no, no, Esther, please. Don't, don't, that's not what I'm saying. How much? Um, name your price. I see. Two million naira. What? You asked me to name my price and that is it. I'll see you when you bring the money. spilling out the beans. I never knew she was home. It's okay, man. It's okay. I mean, that's the least of my worries right now. It's as if the devil is fighting me, man. The devil? Yes. What do you mean? Top on my list of worries now is Esther. She claims that she is And to cap it all off, she, she wants me to give her two million to pay her off. Two million? That's ridiculous. Didn't you tell her the problems were going to I told her everything. I bought into every single thing. And instead of being a friend, you're just turning around. To, I, I don't understand it. Look, since this three weeks that I've met her again, I have given her more than 350,000 naira. Yes, I have. But. Okay, I know I initiated the whole abortion idea, but hey, two, two million. Uh, it's alright, it's, it's, it's okay. It's okay. It's alright. I'll go see her and talk some sense to her. 
for me. Of course I will. But come on. Just leave the whole situation to me, okay? Don't talk to her about this anymore. Don't give her money anymore. Just leave the whole situation to me to handle. Alright? I mean, you've got too much on your hands already. Two million naira. Is she crazy? What's that? Man, thanks, man. Honestly, I'd really, really appreciate it if you could talk to her for me. But, Martins, those guys, I have to find them. We it's... will get them. Find them. Ah, yeah, I... Uh, yeah, Steve, I forgot to use this. Your wallet, you dropped it, remember? Okay, at the... Uh, yeah, 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 that's First headquarters. Okay, he's in the conference room. Let me call him. Sir, some people are here. They like to see you. They say you're very important. Okay, he's coming. Good, good day, gentlemen. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Are you Mr. Steve Agbasu? Also? Oh yes, I am. And how may I help you? I'm Inspector Johnson from First Headquarters. Okay, officer. And um, how may I be of help to you? You recognize this man? Well, of course I do. This is the man that duped me. I mean, this is the same person. Well, he is dead. Dead? He's dead. Oh, no, this man cannot be dead. I'm afraid you're under arrest. What for? Your ID card was found at the crime scene. Now this is ludicrous. I mean, I'm sure I have my ID card somewhere here. Your hands, please. What? You have the right to remain silent. For whatever you say now will be used against you in the court of law. What? Handcuff him. What? You know what? Please, call my wife. Call my wife and tell her to, I'm at the police station. Force headquarters. Officers, are you sure there's not a mix up somewhere? This is. You will explain that in the police station. Oh, oh, 
try and see Barisa Bamidele to see if you can get a bail. For what it is? Is that possible? I don't know. I don't know. I'll just try. I'll, I'll try. You can't stay here. You can't. Oh, thank you very much, sir. I'm grateful. Okay, sir, I I'll meet you at the police station right away. Thanks, sir, for granting me bill. Thank you very much, sir. Okay, thank you, sir. You are the one I need and I free. You are the one I need and I free. Thank you very much, sir. You're welcome. Sorry. Um, as long as Madam has guaranteed us that uh, you'll be provided when needed, there's no problem at all. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. Thank you, sir. Yeah. I'm most grateful, sir. You are the one I need that separate. Yeah, come to the office. You are the one I needed as a friend. No one else but you.
basically avoiding me since we got back from the police station. I've been running a one-man soliloquy show here by myself because you will not respond to anything that I say. Look, Anna, don't you believe me? Look, if there's anything wrong at all, just talk to me. Let me know. Steve. Yes? Esther was in my office yesterday. What is going on? Just calm down, right? I can explain everything. Just tell me what is going on between you. What is going on? After all that I've done for you, you're still seeing her? So this whole married thing has been a game. You were using me. No, no. Annette, please. please. I beg you in the name of all that you hold there. Just listen to me for a second. I can explain. Explain it. what? Explain that the pregnancy is not yours. That you've not been seeing her behind me. She had a god to come to my office and threaten to move into my house because she's carrying your child. You know what? I don't want to see you in my life. I don't want to see you again. I don't want to see you ever again. I want you out of my house and out of my life right now. <laughs> You are going off to her. No, 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 you, no, no, no. You are running off to her, right? No, 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 you are no, running no. off to her, right? No, 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 no. no. Look, I, I, I have a feeling I can solve this whole thing. I, I, I don't know, but something keeps coming to my mind about Martins. I, I, I think Martins is behind this all the whole episode. I, Martins? Yes, Martins. I, yes. I think he's behind this. Martins. I don't know. Yes, I don't know why. Oh, Steve. I was at his wife's office and I heard he, he's been arrested for murder. Now, how does Steve's arrest have anything to do with me? He killed someone, he got arrested. So, how do I come in? Cut it off, Martin. Steve is not a murderer. Oh, so you know him that well? The man they said he killed, Fred Azuka. It's the same man you used to dupe him. Esther, like I said, I don't know what you're talking about. If Steve killed someone, let him face the music, period. You're so heartless. You know, I never knew you to be this mean. I'm tired of this whole thing. 
You and I know that Steve is not a murderer. So what are you saying? Are you saying I killed him? Steve doesn't know how to locate Fred. You do. And you told me Fred had gone back to the US. You didn't tell me anything about him being dead. You know what? I'm sick and tired of everything. The money, the pregnancy, I'm tired. I'm going to move out of that apartment. I'm going back to my place. I think this has gotten too far. Behave, you won't like what I'll do to you next. So, sit down! That's, that's a good girl. Very good. Very good girl. We are looking for. Yes. Oh, yes. 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 I see that he's a copy. I read for that. No, it's no. Each time I cry, you're 
protect me like a child No one else but you You are the one I needed as a friend You are the one I needed as a friend What do you want? Annette, please, we need to, to talk. What do you want? Annette, I'm sorry, things... So I was a pet. Steve, I was a pet. No, no, no. This whole thing was a game. I was just a pawn in your hands. You were playing me! You were playing me. All the time I trusted you. I was just a pet. No, no, not please. We need to... You know what? I, I don't want to see you. Again. I don't want you in my life. I don't want to talk about anything. Just go. Just go away. Just go. When I'm ready, you can take your things. Annette. Please, I don't want to embarrass you. I love you. I love you from the bottom of my heart. Leave! Just Each time I fall, you pick me up. 